She asked me to solve it by subtraction, not with her hand gestures, but she said solve it by subtraction. So remember, when we're dealing with subtraction, elimination of subtraction, what we want to make sure is we have the same variable, for, or the same coefficient for our variables, and that they have the exact same sign. So I notice here that y, both have a 3 in front, and their exact same sign. Therefore, I can use elimination by subtraction. So all I'm simply going to do is put a subtraction sign, and I'm just going to subtract my variables. Remember, if there's no number in front, guys, that we can represent those as a 1, right? <laughs> negative 1x and a positive 1x, okay? So what we have is negative x, or negative 1x, minus another 1x is going to be minus 2x. Negative 1 minus 1 equals negative 2. We just have x's included with them. 3y minus 3y is now going to give you 0y. And that's why we wanted to use Wait, our elimination by subtraction. Why did you when you add those and put the same sign? Remember, I was telling you, I told you before, you could use addition to solve this problem as well. But Vanessa asked me to do a problem by subtraction. So you could, if you added them, you would eliminate the x's, right? Yeah, but, then zero. but we're subtracting them because we're going to want to eliminate the y's. Oh. It doesn't matter which one. For this problem, you could do it either way. Uh, but okay. Vanessa wanted to subtract to get rid of the y's. So, so the two x's then be zero? And then it's if I added that, okay, that's but I'm right. subtracting them. That's why it's a little different. Okay. 6 minus 18 is going to leave me at negative 12. 0y, negative 2x equals negative 12. Divide by negative 2. x equals positive 6. Now I know what x equals. I'm going to plug that back into one of those equations. Um, I'll plug it into, let's plug it into this problem, the lower equation. So I say 6 <laughs> plus 3y equals 18. Subtract 6. You get 3y equals 12, divide by 3, y equals 4. Okay? If let's say we did, let's say we did want to add them just for fun, see if we'd get the same answer. So I'd have negative x plus 3y equals 6, x plus 3y equals 18. If I added them like you wanted to, you get 0x plus 6y equals 24, right? 6y equals 24, divide by 6, y equals 4. Is y equal 4? Yeah. Right? That's so it's the, the same way. way. Yeah, and, that's, and usually adding is easier than subtracting, but I, she wanted a video for how to subtract that problem, so that's why I did it. Okay, and then you're, you're you've got to blame everything on this. All right, I don't get how you like know which one is x and which one is y, how you know which one is, like, how, what operation do you find x and y? Like, obviously, I found x on the, or y on the first one. Right. The way you put x. Oh, no, I just have bad hand already. So once you find out what one of them is, you plug it back into the equation to find your other one. Where do you plug it see, in? See here I have x equals 6. I plug 6 in for x oh, on that okay. equation. And then I solve for y. All right. And the same thing here. You just would plug y in for either one of these. It doesn't matter. You can put 4 in for this y or 4 in for that y and just solve for x and you get your answer. So if you did it this way, you could have x plus 3 times 4 equals 18, right? 3 times 4 is 12, right? Then you'd subtract 12, and there you go. Still, you still get the same answer. Make sense? Got it? No, it's not that exciting, is it? Um, all right.